All right, let's go over removing brake rotor bolts real quick. Um, if you just go to remove a brake rotor bolt without some preparation, you're probably gonna round the fastener off and have a whole another problem. So today we are working on a Yamaha MT-07, that repair manual, and we're gonna take our brake rotor off and we thought we'd just share this with you. So the number one thing to remember when removing the brake rotor is to heat the fastener with whether it be a heat gun or a torch you need to heat it up these are going to have thread lock on them and if you just try to loosen them like i said the head's going to round off you're going to run into problems so as we look down here at the bolt you'll notice typically on a brake rotor you don't have a huge fastener to work with and they're almost always held on by thread lock i'm not going to say always but typically this one most certainly is um, nowadays you want to keep in mind too the manufacturer may recommend to replace the whole entire fastener and not reuse it so keep that in mind when you go back together so you can you can just manhandle this um with a tool and you'll certainly need to use like a regular wrench when you go to torque it back on but when removing it um i like to use at least if you don't have a pneumatic impact or an electric one nowadays a battery operated one you know you can use a good old hammer pneumatic tool or, um, or excuse me, a hammer and an impact driver and just give it a good whack to loosen it that way. That helps. Um, or like today, we're just gonna use like a regular uh, pneumatic air gun. So, but the, the main tip here, and it varies, you know, you can put a little heat on it and uh, try it. If it doesn't work, don't keep forcing it, put some more heat on it. So I'm just gonna get our torch going here. And now I have, we will admit I have already preheated this one before so i'll just reheat it if you will a little bit just to make sure it's hot enough and these are using like a hex which is pretty common so this is a six millimeter hex so you want to make sure when you put your socket in make sure it's all the way bottomed out also sometimes you can get it in there and you don't have it all the way in you put the power to it and it's going to round it off also so we're just going to give it a quick comes right out now it's hot remember that that's hot after you just heated it so if we tried that with one of the other bolts with no heat just the regular wrench that's going to make you want to kind of get off center a little bit it's going to round off so hopefully you know just make sure you're aware of what's around you when you're using heat flames you know things of that nature to be safe um and apply the heat to the fastener make sure your socket is firmly and squarely engaged with that and then put the power to it and they should come right back out again and then obviously like i said check to see if you need to reapply thread lock use a new fastener all together but make sure you hit your torque specs going back together and that'll make changing your rotor whether it's worn out it's bent it's a performance upgrade when you change your rotors that'll make it a super easy job like it like it should be so hopefully that helps you guys out